Oh, did we get that before the special? I guess he could still do signature. Who knew? Oh. Alright guys, welcome back to the channel. So, diversifying our portfolio of Creator Wrestler showcases. We're gonna dip our toes into more TNA guys. Um, and we already did Kenta earlier. So, uh, we're gonna go look at your... Your champ. Your forever champ as of right now. Uh, Josh Alexander, the walking weapon, which luckily it's in the game. I mean, unfortunately you can't be the walking weapon, Josh Alexander, cause Josh Alexander is actually call names in the game, but you only got two slots. So it is what it is, but he is Canadian a, eh? and his look again, nothing super unique, but he also can't be super elaborate in this game. So kind of works. I think the headgear really sets him apart from a lot of people because I think well, like one other person or two people, I should say, is when Kurt Angle lost his hair <laughs> and was wearing it. And then you had uh, Rick Steiner, who would have been nice if you can actually do like an RVD style uh, singlet. But alas, you do not have those options. You just have like this basically just basic color, basic Jones, black trim. So we'll take a look at a street clothes. Really again, nothing super unique here. Just surprise Josh Alexander in street clothes. Not extremely elaborate, and I don't think we have anything because we can't put a shirt on. Um, unfortunately, you would have your long, your long sleeve, uh, like workout mesh, uh, top, but you can't do that for entrance because rules in a video game. I think it's because he's wearing the singlet, or it could be the elbow pad, one of those that the game deems I cannot do the. That, but here's your overall look. I, I think it looks like him, minus like the two tone color that he kind of goes with a lot of times. Um, and not being able to put like a maple leaf anywhere really hinders this from being spot on. But outside of that, though, like it's pretty darn close. You could do the red booties and the match the, the head uh, gear, and then we'll show you the secondary, which is basically like a black version, red and black which is just an opposite. I mean, again, you're very limited as to what you can do, but if you're creative enough, you can do things. So he's General Mail Jones here at the first one. Really nothing to uh, be inspired by, but this is like a good one for, for moveset. This is a nice, nice technical in your face moveset. We'll look at the inverted pile driver, which is a tombstone. Unfortunately, can't do a twisting version of it. I would have liked it. And if there is one and I can't find it, please let me know. So I can update it. I know a lot of people were telling me about the John Cena one. I had already changed it and I updated the description on it. But I don't think it was worth re-recording just to show a different slot. But here's your tire driver. This is what is pretty nasty of Josh Alexander that... It's just this drop you right on your head. Not as much as like the Christopher Daniels version of it, of the angel's wings. Um, but pretty nasty though. I don't think you'd be able to do that in WWE. I mean, you might these days. I feel like the Vince McMahon rules are a little more relaxed now than what they were previously. Might be able to do a pile driver. I understand safe safety reasons. Again, just a lot of in your face. A lot of toe kicks. The toe kicker. And we'll do weak grapples. These are pretty much like your primary things, unless someone is heavy on the showcase with uh like a hop rope or a running sort of thing 
Caesar, this is like your 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 meat of your DAW. Is your grapples is what you're gonna be entertaining yourself with the whole time. And then uh, obviously we're gonna have to have an ankle lock. I mean, you can't do Josh Alexander without paying homage to Kurt Angle. We've already done an Olympic Slam. And then you gotta have your rolling sent on. Then your Germans. And then your Argentine backbreaker. But torture rack backbreaker. It's weird that this is the only torture rack in the game. At least that I've found. Um, so obviously for people who want to do like a Lex Luger, cannot. Or at least not have a torture rack as your finisher. Maybe a running form, but... Yeah, just pretty much just smash mouth, just like in your face. Technical what he wants to be, but sort of a brawler, I want to say. You can throw down with the rest of them. I mean, his match again is with Kenta was pretty, pretty strong on both ends. They beating the crap out of each other and we're standing toe to toe. And here's where you start kind of getting generic Jones because you only have so many moves you can do. And your uh, low strikes. Especially if you're not a kicking person. That's where it gets very limited to your options. Again, these, again, very limited. Very, like a handful of what you can do. So you kind of have to be a little imaginative. All right, now we're gonna go. Uh, and I'm gonna match. Here it looks. All right, we're gonna relive that Impact title match, Kenta versus Josh Alexander. We'll pretend there's an Impact title match. And this, we'll change the arena to. Uh, sure, full gear. The following contest is set for one fall. Cannot wait for this match. Me either. Man with a mask. Making his way to the ring. The walking weapon. The ball's kind of flat. <laughs> they have Josh Alexander behind it. But you only got two and options. Kenta. Right, we're not here for the entrances, we're here for the smash mouth. It'd be funny if Kenta starts this match with the eye gouge. Oh nice, belly to belly. Big move to start. Nice. Got him over again. Not really uh, letting Kenta breathe. Pretty much getting him like right out of the blocks. Oh, stop that one short. Get him on the ropes. I think we do. Oh, trap the leg. Man loves his belly bellies. Got him with a vert suplex. Kenta's really not been able to get out of the box here. Ooh, a little fireman's carry. Got him dazed. Now roll through Senton. Very R RVD-esque. Oh, got the ankle lock on him. And we got a signature. Oh, did not tap. And we'll pretend that he's twisting. 
Nice. See if we can end this. Oh, did we get that before the special? I guess he could still do signature. Who knew? Oh, that was nasty. Yes. Hopefully he got the rope separation. Yes, he did. Sweet. Nailed it. Nice angle of his red booties. Oh, right on the dime. He just destroyed him. Weird, this has singles record 3-3. Three, three. I have not done a match with him. Defeat three computer opponents. Must be another daily challenge. <laughs> Anyways, that was your Josh Alexander CAW showcase. We'll catch you in the next one. Later.